From the very first time I put on a pair of waders and went out to the river, I got it. I knew what it was about. It's not about catching a fish. What's unique about fly fishing is it brings you to the river. And that's what the novel is about. It gets you off the couch, out of the house, and into this beautiful surroundings where you hear the water, you pay attention to the details. You look at the trees, is there a shrub nearby? You watch the currents, you pick up a rock and you see what insects are there. You become part of your environment, it's very zen. Whether you catch a fish or not, for me, is immaterial. I'm dancing with the environment. This is my 10th novel, and each book is a journey. Each book is an adventure for me as an author. I, I get to learn something new. I get to be involved in a new area. If you read my body of work, you'll see that I often write about the disconnect I feel is happening with people in nature. In this story, this is a story of a woman who's a survivor. So I wanted her to be a breast cancer survivor because um, this is a woman who feels betrayed by her body, by her husband, by life. She feels completely victimized. And she goes to the mountains to heal, and it's the first time she picks up a fly rod. And she feels this connection to life again after a long period of facing death. She feels life at the end of this line. It's about being present in the river, being present in the now, to live her life fully in the moment. I have found that now my books have a twofold goal. One is to tell a story. First and foremost, I'm a storyteller. But second is to bring my readers to my story world so they can read this book from their armchair, wherever they're comfortable, and be brought here at an intimate level. And then when they close the book, they can think, you know, that was a really good story. But I learned something too.